Morning. We went to the hotel, movie quids, and um, basically just had to keep running up to the stage. You got a card if you got a king, because there was like 10 cards out. You, um, you got a chance to win a balloon that then you popped and found out what prize you'd got. Um, so yeah, there was a range of prizes from like bottles of wine to um, the little teddy bear um, caterpillar that Esme and Isaac love. So we're like, yes, we want the teddy bear caterpillar. And um, what did we win? We won a free trip to the indoor swimming pool. The like, well, they call it the spa, but basically it's the indoor swimming pool. Um, and I don't think we're even going to use the one that we've got with the holiday. So uh, <laughs> that was a bit, uh, a bit disappointing. But that's that's the whole fun of the game. That was the uh, we were the joke prize. If you if you want to uh, if you want to see it that way. But um, yeah, today we are going to be heading around the pool. I'm not sure if we're going to go to the beach. It all depends on what Becky really wants to do. And um, yeah, I mean, if I could drag the kids away somewhere to a farm or something like that, that'd be fantastic. But you know what? I don't think we are gonna, because um, we're just gonna max and relax on our holiday. Um, enjoying it so far, really enjoying it. It was desperate to get the sunglasses on. Do you like the sunglasses? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Esme. Esme. Do you like him, Esme? Yeah. Do you look cool? was desperate to put his bag backpack on as last night he uh he was carrying mummy's bag weren't you it was very heavy yeah, yeah. and they got a lighter one on now it's good out labor here he wanted to carry the bag he was desperate to carry the bag it's so heavy though what is that can we can i carry the bag please isaac no <laughs> why why? I want it, You want to carry it? You want to carry it? Okay. Um, I'm just getting a bit, getting a bit concerned, mate, because it looks really heavy. It's like it's wobbling. Jesus, you're gonna be a right farmer, mate, aren't you? Carry a Eh? Suck up a punishment. All the different foods. Stations. They have weird toasters, don't they, when you're on holiday? Why not just a normal one? Right now we're having omelette cooked for us. We're off to the pool now. Does anybody recognise this t-shirt? It's going worldwide now. Hats on. It's 25 degrees, we are just chilling around the pool. Becky is sunbathing. Relaxing. I'm looking after the kids. Um, trying to edit videos as well. How are you looking after the kids? <laughs> the kids are looking after themselves then. Um, fire, 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 exactly. So, yeah, just, um, I don't know. I want to go and do something really, but anyway. <laughs> I hope you can hear all this, it's brilliant. Isaac's off on the slide now. Hopefully the barrel doesn't tip over on him. Should be crying. Here we come. This afternoon, uh, me and Isaac might just have a little drive around the island because he wants to have a sleep. So I'll get him sleeping. Mummy, are you going to do some sunbathing still? Yeah, we're going to go. Come on. I'll make a dream capture because that's what's happening. Kids Club, isn't it, Esme? You're going to go to Clips Club? Yeah? Yeah. Right, me and the main man are going to jump in the car. See, going exploring, aren't we? Or you might be going sleeping. I'm not sure. One of the two, I think. Let's go. All in, aircon on, ready to go. So right now we are going to go and find um, basically like a, a bit like a cactus museum. Um, they produce a thing called country neel um, in Lanzarote. What do you want to go to, mate? You want to go to the farm? Okay, we'll try and find the farm then. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
And yeah, the little um, look, get little beetles on these cactus, and it provides a red dye that they're using like Campari, the drink, um, also like lipstick and stuff like that. So we'll try and find it. Somebody said it was closed, but we'll just have a drive out there, see if little Mister can get to sleep. He wants to see the farm as well, so um, we'll see if we can see some animals while we're there. Okay, let's go. Little man's asleep. I thought I'd just show you this as we were driving to our destination. I'm not sure what it is that they're growing here, but it seems like they're all sheltered. They build like stone walls to shelter them, I guess, from the wind. Um, and they're everywhere. Literally, as far as you can see, there's all these little walls being built to protect these plants. I'm not joking when I say they're everywhere. Look at them all on the hillside there. In front of us. So although it's a very volcanic island that you assume doesn't get much water, I think it's 15 centimetres a year, they're still able to, uh, to do farming. Those that farmers can adapt to any conditions really just get on with it. it must be the same in spain as it is in england like you've got to just keep going aren't you and these guys have found different ways to do it by putting walls around the plants and bits and bobs like that yeah business different way of doing things i mean you're not going to get a tractor in here are you? it's gonna to have to be all by hand i would assume it's gonna to have to be in it like are you gonna get around all these little walls and stuff yeah it is impressive just like the time and effort that's gone into building all that. I actually found out what those um, plants were. It became quite obvious as I went further down the road. Um, I'll let you know in tomorrow's video, but if you want to have a guess, let it have a guess in the comments. I'm just going to wake my little mister up now and we're going to have a little walk around this museum and see what it's about. Look at that for a moment, eh? Wow, we All the people here as well. So a little bit about the museum if everyone wants to pause that and have a look i think it was actually a particular architect oh we've lost your hat a particular architect who designed all these whitewashed patios and the sloping roofs of houses to collect as much water as they can into this soil that holds water quite well so it's not a soil it's like the uh, volcanic pumice pumice is it i think that's what they call it um to grow stuff in agriculture you impressed mate not really. The straw and grass shredder. So think of the teagle. Well, that's pretty much a teagle. To use, use it, they cut it up to for food for animals, basically. That's what it's saying on here. But these things are seats. Uh, no, well, that's a seat, obviously. These are for carrying things. And what animal? Let us know in the comments below if you can take a guess. These same plants again, guys. If you know what they are, let us know in the comments. I obviously do know what they are now, but um, you don't normally see them like this. Or I, I don't recognize them as being like that. My guess would be that this is like a mill run by a donkey that walks around the outside, attached to that wooden curved bit. And it keeps walking round and round and round in a circle. Would be my guess. Looks like we've got things that would attach to. A donkey or something? Yeah, do you think? Yeah. yeah, I think so maybe. Funny things here, isn't there? Look at that. Some kind of like corkscrew. As it comes down, I don't know. Then we can hear running water, can't we, down there? Shall we look down them steps? Wow, so it dug out. Completely dug out, isn't it? Wow. We got the water coming out of the rocks there. And then check this out, mate. What could be in here? We're underground, aren't we? Wow, we. What's that sound? 
What is that sound? Could the Gruffalo be in here? The Gruffalo? <laughs> Come on. Just walked back up out of a massive restaurant area. Back upstairs. As I said, that's like marginally interesting walk around there. Not a place to bring kids though. What did you reckon to it, Isaac? Do you want to get back in car? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's more like an older couple's place, but um, it's quite nice if you get to go down in that um, underground part where the water, where the well was and that. Um, but yeah, very much, uh, very much a uh, like a tourist trap kind of uh, place for an older couple or something. Yeah, we were the only, we we're only one with kids there, weren't we, mate? Yeah. Now they all feel that uh, like they've been worked up. JCB! Pretty much the only tractors that I've seen all holiday. I saw one that was called a laser as a tractor. Check this out, we've come and to see the camels. And where's Isaac? <laughs> Asleep! Camel rides! Wow! Show me where this bit! Now. Yeah. <laughs> Going on his own. <laughs> we'll try and give the camels a go tomorrow. Mummy and Esme will go on them. I'm not sure if Mummy will go on a camel. That's somewhere to ask Becky actually. She'd go on a camel. I don't know if she would. She might do. Anybody knows what that is down there? I am interested. Are they getting salt out of the water? I don't know. No idea. So I've just found a place where we can stop and look at this. It's pretty impressive stuff. Up there, it's got to be salt, hasn't it? It's got to be. I'm asking more questions in these videos than I'm trying to give information about. Um, yeah, that's what it's all about, I suppose, isn't it? Somebody will know. I'm guessing that's what it is. It's got to be like getting salt out of the water or something like that. All that white stuff down there. Anyway, back to the car. Let's get back on. Hey, mate. I'm holding it down. You don't want to hold it, okay? <laughs> We're back at the room now. I'm drinking a tropical beer, which is brewed in the Canary Islands, which is quite nice, actually. Um, and yeah, probably going to end the video here. We're just going to have a shower and get ready for our evening meal and entertainment. Um, I feel like in this video, I've asked more questions than I've got answers to, but um, I don't know. I'm, I don't claim to be an expert on canary agriculture, but um, I like to look around and see what farmers do, whether it's in our own backyard or if it's in a different country. So, um, yeah, we're quite impressed by them little walls that they built. It's uh, it's like, I don't know, the uh, stone walls that you get in Yorkshire, I suppose, but on the just a more vast scale. Um, so, yeah, they're quite interesting, and I will give you the answer to that tomorrow. And yeah, if you've liked it, then please remember to just like and subscribe if you're not already. And we're having such a brilliant time over here. I'm enjoying making these videos because I know that I'll be able to look back on them in a few months' time or whatever, or a year's time, two years' time, and just remember what we did as a family um, when we went to Lanzarote. So yeah, uh, we'll see you tomorrow then, guys. We're going to go to Rancho Texas tomorrow night, which should be really fun. Enjoy that. It's like cowboy and Indian night, and um, yeah, I've been. Ash, uh, Flash Ash has told me to do it like every time I've come to Lanzarote and we've never done it so this time we've booked on and we're going to get on with it and, uh, and he said it's a fantastic night so we're going to try that. Right, anyway, see you later guys, thanks for watching, bye!
バイ。